नमस्कार स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर 15 यूनिट्स ऑफ मेजरमेंट्स पार्ट नंबर 1 एक्सरसाइज 15 ए पेज नंबर 128 यू हैव ऑलरेडी गॉट द आईडिया ऑफ मेजरमेंट्स इन क्लास 3 यू हैव ऑलरेडी लर्नड ओके नाउ first you can see that i have written on the board unit of length that is kilometer <coughs> unit of mass or weight that is kilogram and unit of capacity that is kiloliter okay so in short we can write kilometer as km kilogram as kg and kiloliter as kl unit of length used to measure large distances or large length or long distances kilometer okay then comes meter meter is used to measure the length of cloth pipe wire etc these are given in your book so you have to read the book thoroughly also and centimeter is used to measure smaller lengths like book scale etc today we will start with unit of length okay that means meter or kilometer we will start with this now you can see that i have drawn a chart kilometer hectometer decameter meter decimeter centimeter millimeter you can see that from ki kilometer to millimeter kilometer is the biggest unit of length and millimeter is the smallest unit of length so when we convert when we move from bigger unit to smaller unit that means kilometer to millimeter that time we will do multiplication you can see that i have written multiplied by 10 10 10 one step is multiplied by 10 two steps multiplied by 10 into 10 100 and three steps multiplied by 10 into 10 into 10 that means 1000 again when we move from smaller unit millimeter to kilometer that time we divide by 10 for one step we divide by 10 for two steps we divide 10 into 10 100 for three steps we divide 10 into 10 into 10 1000 in this way we move from bigger to smaller units and smaller to bigger units now 1 km km 1 km is equal to how much meter kilometer to hectometer hectometer to decameter decameter to meter three steps So ten into ten into ten is equal to one thousand meter. You have to be very careful about the units. If you write the wrong units, your sum will be wrong. So one kilometer is equal to one thousand meter. Clear? Now that means we have moved from bigger unit to smaller unit. Now if it is meter. Now, if I write one meter is equal to how many kilometers? You can see that from meter to kilometer, decameter, hectometer, kilometer, three steps. Okay, we have to cross. That is why we divide it by one thousand. Clear? Same as if I ask you one meter. Is equal to how many centimeter? From meter to centimeter, we have to move from meter to decimeter and decimeter to centimeter. Two steps. That means ten into ten. That means one hundred centimeter. Now, if I move from centimeter to meter, then we have to again move from uh, move from uh, move, again. We have to cross two steps. 
that is centimeter and the decimeter then meter so 1 centimeter is equal to 1 by 100 meter so to do the sums you will have to remember this chart okay from bigger unit to smaller unit we multiply by 10 and from smaller unit to bigger unit we divide by 10 now I'm rubbing this portion also Now exercise 15A. Sum number 1A. Convert to millimeters. To millimeters. 1A. It is written 6 centimeter. How will you convert this? What is centimeter? Here it is centimeter. From centimeter to millimeter. Next step is millimeter. Okay, that means we have to multiply by 10 only. Okay, so first you will have to write 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter. Therefore, your question is, therefore, 6 centimeter is equal to 10 into 6 is equal to 60 millimeter. Clear? Achha. Now, 1 C. What is it given? 3 meter. You have to convert 3 meter to millimeter. Now here you can see the position of meter is here. So from meter to millimeter we have to cross 3 steps. Decimeter, centimeter, millimeter. 3 steps. That means 3 zeros. 1000, 10 into 10 into 10. So you have to write 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeter. Therefore, your question is 3 meter. 3 meter is equal to 1000 into 3. 3000 millimeter. Clear? But again I am telling you have to remember the chart. The position of the units. Okay. Now, 2D. It is written convert into meters. What is what is written in 2D? 15 meter 5 centimeter. This you have to convert into meter. Sorry, convert into millimeter. Centimeter, meter to centimeter. Okay. So 15 meter 5 centimeter. 15 meter to First, you have to convert 15 meter to 5, sorry, 15 meter to millimeter. So, 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeter. Clear? Therefore, 15 meter is equal to 1000 into 15, 15,000 millimeter. Now, here you can see that centimeter is also there. 5 centimeter. So, here also you have to do now 1 centimeter is equal to how many millimeters? 10 millimeters. 10 millimeter. Okay. Therefore, now I am rubbing this one. Therefore, 5 centimeter is equal to 10 into 5 sorry, is equal to 50 millimeter. So here you can see that 15,000 millimeter and 50 millimeter. Then you have to add these two units. 15,000 plus 50 millimeter. So our answer comes as 15,050 millimeter. You only have to change the units. But how you will change? Whether you will do division or multiplication? That depends on your chart. From which unit to which unit you are moving. Now, number 3. 3B. It is written convert into meters. 47 kilometer. So, kilometer to meter. Kilometer, then hectometer, then decameter, then meter. Three steps. Okay. So, 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter. Therefore, 
47 kilometer is equal to 1000 into 47 is equal to 47,000 meter. Clear? Achha. Now, students, remember the chart very carefully. Follow the class and do your work. Now, sums to be done in maths book. Exercise 15A. <clears throat> 1 and 2 all. Clear? Then 3 AB. So, today up to this much, in our next class, we shall continue with this chapter. Till then, Namshibai students,